Hey guys, Chris Serino here from the Sultana Education Foundation's Virtual Classroom. I'm here on a gorgeous day in Chestertown. Right behind me you can see is a reproduction of the 1768 Schooner Sultana. And today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about this tool called a chip log. This is a tool that the sailors would use every half hour over the entire course of an ocean crossing to try to get a fix on where they were. So we're going to basically show you how this works and explain how this might have helped you fix your position at sea. All right, so this is the chip log. This little piece here is the chip. You can see it's got wood on the top. It's lined with lead on the bottom. It's got three lines tied to each corner so that when this is in the water and water's pushing against it, it stays still. And then this is the log. So you got your chip log. As the boat sails away from this chip, it comes off the roller and sailors would do this for about 28 seconds. And the way that was measured was with a little sand glass that looked like this. Okay. So let's pretend that bell rang. A sailor throws the chip off the stern. I'm on the boat holding the log. The boat starts to sail away. Line comes off the spool. And what we're gonna do is count how many knots come off that roller in 28 seconds. There's one right there. So let's say that we did the chip log and in 28 seconds, we measured that there were five knots that went off the roller. That means the ship is traveling at five nautical miles per hour. And that term knots is still used today when we record the speed of a ship. And the way we would keep track of our speed over the course of a four hour watch is with this device. This is called a traverse board. So down here, there are eight rows, one to match each bell for every half hour of a four hour shift. So I would simply take a peg. Let's say on that first bell, we measured the speed at five knots. I go to the fifth hole and I put in a peg. Now up here, you'll see there's eight concentric circles. These also correspond to the bells. This is to measure my course, where I'm heading. So let's say on that first bell, we were going five knots and in a northeasterly direction, I'd put the peg right there. Okay, so at the end of a four hour watch, there would have been eight bells. So you would have had eight pieces of information, eight different speeds that you'd measured and eight courses. And this traverse board allowed you to keep track of all that data. So here's five knots, four knots, five, five, six, five, four, and five again. And you can see here, I'm generally heading in a northeasterly course. And at the end of that watch, this board would be taken to the head navigator on the ship and he could walk out these coordinates on a chart. And at the end of that process, you would have a deductive guess at your position. You would have a deductive reckoning or a dead reckoning. So to wrap this up, to determine their speed, sailors used a chip log. It measured your speed in knots or nautical miles per hour. And by keeping track of that speed with the chip log and also your course with the traverse board, you could guess where your ship was at sea. That was called deductive reckoning or dead reckoning. That's all for today's episode of Sultana Education Foundation's Virtual Classroom. I hope you'll join us back at this site for more cool videos.